To speak for the graduates at this afternoon's commencement ceremony is Asma Aziz, a candidate for the degree of Master of Social Work. Before I begin this speech, I want to say that I'm very happy and excited today. I feel important now. <laughs> Esteemed faculty, administrators, and trustees, dear parents, beloved friends, and graduates, good evening to you. It is a great privilege for me to stand here on behalf of the brilliant graduating class of 2018 to express the joy that we feel today. Author David Kushiri said, life is a journey with big rocks to climb, little ones to trip over, and milestones to mark where we have been. And I'm glad we are all here today at this incredible milestone together. This ceremony is significant because it is a proof of our determination to succeed. For each of us, we have had challenges that let us prove that we were determined to succeed. We juggled work, family, friends. We spent writing papers, sleepless nights. We are all here because although we may have stumbled over the pebbles, we picked ourselves up and continued the race. At this point, the question is, what's next? How should we carry on? I suggest we should remember our purpose each day. Like many of my peers, I came to Salem State University for an excellent education. Unlike my peers, I came from a country of Pakistan where life is totally different. In my hometown of Faisalabad, I can't leave my house without a male chaperone for fear for my safety. But I yearned to explore on my own. I wanted to be an active citizen of the world, an instrument of change for my fellow women. To do this, I embarked upon the journey that has led me here to achieve my purpose. Two years ago, I arrived in the United States, not realizing that the housing and sport I prearranged for myself would disappear. Within 24 hours of setting foot in this great country, I found myself homeless, with no way to pay my tuition. I missed my family horribly. I struggled and began to receive help from many people and organizations. I worked really hard, studying in a new language and working to support myself, putting nearly all of my money towards tuition and living off about $50 a month. It's my purpose that wakes me up every day. Live. When I close my eyes, I vividly see where I want to be in the next few years, what I want to achieve, and how I will help women and girls improve their lives. And now I have founded my own nonprofit, One Little Light. to create opportunities for disadvantaged persons by addressing inequality and by increasing access to education and strengthening families and communities. Today, I challenge you all to remember your purpose. Live each day knowing that there is a reason you are on this earth. Always count your blessings, learn from your losses, and move forward. Today. Our last day here is a wonderful day. But think all the amazing days to come. I would like to thank God for making this day a reality and bestowed his blessings upon us. 
I would like to thank all the parents, family, friends who encouraged and supported us as we work toward our graduate degrees. I would like to thank Salem State University for helping us and opening its doors to us. And finally, I would like to thank our faculty for helping us gain the knowledge and skills that will serve the rest of our lives. Once again, congratulations, dear graduate. I think we all deserve a huge round of applause. Thank you. We did it, guys. Yay. Thank you, Ozma, for those wonderful words of congratulations and thoughtful reflections. One little light indeed. One little light indeed. Asma Aziz, social work. I know. Congratulations to the graduates of 2018. Thank you.